Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are reviewing Sonic the Hedgehog 2, directed by Jeff Fowler and starring Ben Schwartz, Jim Carrey, Idris Elba and James Marsden. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is a direct sequel to the 2020 movie. This time Sonic is being given some responsibility around the house to prove he can take care of himself. The only problem is Eggman, who has teamed up with Knuckles, just so happens to be taking his revenge at the same time. Before we go any further, could you be a dear and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It really does help me and the channel massively and we thank you if you do. Starting with the positives to this movie, I felt that that upbeat tone and good vibe that they had in the original movie completely transferred across to the sequel. This is a lot of fun and it feels like it's having a lot of fun in the process. I also felt that they had fine tuned the comedy here. They were really trying to work some personality and figure out the characters a bit more rather than do that whole thing that they did with Olive Garden in the original. Do you remember that thing? Yeah, it's not relying on brands and things like that so much. They're actually trying to give the characters a bit of personality and make them a bit more memorable. And I enjoyed that aspect to this movie. They also dive a lot deeper into the world of Sonic and I kind of appreciate that it's not fully fleshed out and it's not the most interesting backstory you've ever seen. It raised the stakes in the movie and it actually gave the characters purpose in their mission. The addition of Tails and Knuckles really does amp this movie up as well. Knuckles is my boy, he always has been ever since we had the Sega Genesis as a kid. I always chose as Knuckles if he was available. So naturally there was that nostalgic attachment to me. Maybe it's a little bit biased, but I really did enjoy Knuckles and Tails in this film. I thought they operated nicely with Sonic as well. And I think because they're all CGI characters, it made the dialogue a little bit easier, a little bit more digestible than watching him always being the fish out of water with humans. And I also think it allowed the movie to operate in sillier, but wilder, situations, which I think it hugely benefited from, especially in the third act. The action is fun and fairly frequent with lots of imagination to it, and the soundtrack matches up with it nicely as well. But it isn't a perfect movie, and nor was I expecting it to be. Of course, it is a little bit childish in places, but it was never eye-rollingly childish. I never got that tired of it. I could totally work with it and understand that this is a kid's property first and foremost. But the biggest complaint is that I actually felt this one is a bit too long, maybe 20 minutes too long. I felt it most in the second act. It just stops and doesn't do enough for too long there. And also felt it in the epilogue. I kind of was waiting for it to wrap up. I was enjoying what the epilogue was doing, but it felt like it should have been finished by now. I'm going to give Sonic the Hedgehog 2 a 7 out of 10. I would say this is perfectly on par with its predecessor, but they build upon what the first one did very nicely and they raise the stakes as well very nicely. It is a very enjoyable film. The kids will love it. Grown-ups will enjoy it too. I'm quietly supportive of this franchise. I like that you can feel that there is a care about what they are doing. I like that they are trying to be as marketable as possible, trying to please the children and the adults as well, all while still being a very worthwhile movie. And I still like the fact that they listen to the feedback on the characters and they've really run with it. I like the fact that you can feel the passion for the project in the project itself. And perhaps I'm taking extra notice of that simply because I very recently just walked out of Morbius where that was absolutely absent. Thank you for watching this review. Please be sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And please be sure to hit the comment section. What did you think of Sonic the Hedgehog 2? Take care and I look forward to seeing you on the next review.